Hello, my name is Dr. Cheryl Burdett and I am from Precision Point Diagnostics. Today I wanted to talk to you about why we look at candida on a food test. At first, this could appear surprising because of course nobody sits down to a plate of candida albicans and eats it. So why do we put it on a food test? The major reason for this is that if you are positive to candida, it can indicate an ongoing infection. And if you have a current yeast infection, infection, it can increase your reactions to food sensitivities in general. Why is that true? Well, candida releases proteases that chew up IgA. And as we chew up IgA, it decreases that first line of response. Well, the body is wise. And when it sees that first line of response go down, what it does from there is it begins to increase other food sensitivities. It begins to increase IgG, IgE titers to other foods because it says if the first line defense is compromised, I better increase the rest of my other titers. What this means clinically is that you remove the food, but if you leave candida untreated, those titers can remain elevated longer than normal. So understanding that you're positive to candida helps you to understand why your patient may be more reactive. A second thing to know about elevations in terms of antibody response to candida is that this will also heighten a specific food in general, gluten. Why is that? Well, because the hyphae, the cell wall of the yeast contains a similar amino acid sequence to that which is found in gluten. And so if candida is present, you make antibodies to candida that will cross react to gluten. And so even though you have done removal for a long period of time, you continue to be reactive. And so yes, while your patients do not sit down to a plate of candida, it can in fact, uh, it can in fact affect the amount and the length of their titers to food will stay elevated, particularly when we're thinking about candida in general.